Good, good morning. This is Jeffrey with the Desert Inkwell. I keep laughing because I've tried to do this intro about nine times and I just am having trouble speaking today. So today we are going to be discussing travel slash pocket pens. Uh, we'll use those interchangeably. Traveling could be just going down the street to the library, off to class, etc. Traveling could also be flying overseas or going on a road trip. You decide. I have a variety of pens today, some of which are aluminum. Now, I typically steer clear of aluminum pens because they have a, a tendency to be slippery in my very dry hands. I also have a selection of plastic pens, uh, some resin, and then um, like a lacquered metal pen. Now, some rules for me and travel pens are that I don't ever really want to take a pen traveling with me that I'm afraid to lose. I have a tendency to lose things on trips. So have that rule in mind. Um, I want something that's durable, that can be in a backpack or a bag and not have a high risk of damage. Also, I'm thinking about the mess quotient so I may have a tendency to travel with a cartridge rather than a converter. These are not hard and fast rules that you need to follow. I'm just sharing with you um, how I approach the idea. Before we get into the pens, you have some options. So this is a hard-sided leather six pen case that I got on Amazon that I keep my Esther Brooks in. If you weren't shy about bringing your good pens with you, a hard-sided case in your bag is a great item. Uh, I have a leather passport journal cover here, which is what I brought with me on the road trip. You can also bring something like the Galen Leather Jotter Pad, sneak peek of one of the pens, um, with you. It's a great way to leave a thank you note, uh, to a host or a thank you note to hotel staff or a server who provided excellent service. Don't think we do enough thanking people for their good work. My favorite is the Galen Leather card book. Um, this is fantastic for making a quick list for the store, a little note, uh, maybe if you're out on a hike or of a site you've seen, something you want to remember. These are great and they just give me really old school vibes. Let's get into the pens and we'll talk our way through them. The first option in front of you is probably one of the most affordable fountain pens out there. Uh, this is a Jinhao Shark. Um, it's also a great if you're, uh, it's also a great, excellent English, Jeffrey. This is a great fountain pen if you want to introduce fountain pens to your kids. Fountain pens are shown to improve handwriting and reduce hand strain. So this Jinhao Shark came with a converter and this pen is $1.98. So the next two pens are pen community fan favorites. This is the Caveco Sport. Uh, this is in the color Fox this pen works you post it and then you have closer to a normal size pen these are about $20 they don't come with a converter and they don't come with a clip each of those is about $7 extra you're already at about $35 with no ink or you can just buy the pen no clip and buy some cartridges the converter for this pen is tiny, so unless there's a really specific ink, you may want to start with cartridges. We've discussed, you can clean those out and reuse them. These are two of them. Despite me not being the biggest Caveco fan, um, Charmaine was destashing this pen, and I just thought it was too pretty, and I really wanted to try this with the Sailor Neko Yanagi. This next pen is the Harrods Everyday Pen uh, that was a gift to me from my best friend when she went to London. 
it is a very compact and slim metal pen with like a lacquer finish on it. Now this would meet the criteria. It's sturdy, it's metal. The only thing is this is not a pen I'd be willing to lose. It's too sentimental. One moment, I forgot a pen. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, this is another pen that is slim. It's not going to take up a lot of room in your bag. You may recognize the white snow cap. Uh, this is a Mont Blanc Classique. This is, whoo, look at that, slippery. <laughs> this is a nice compact portable pen too. However, not really willing to damage a Mont Blanc having it kick around in my backpack. But it's an option. I mean, that is definitely an option. Our next contender for pocket pens slash travel pens is the Hongdian M2. Uh, similar in design to the Caveco, where you unscrew this pen, post it, and you're ready to go. The thing I like about the Hongdian M2, first of all, is that it's aluminum. It has a, a really nice uh, spring-loaded clip, and it comes with a converter. Now, even though they're not here in front of me. Caveco also makes um, pens in aluminum and brass, and those are definitely high quality, much loved pens. Um, I just don't happen to have one. Um, and I have this Hongdian M2 in the Army Green and the Caramel Brown. These are a really nice writer. Many of you have seen the Jinhao 82. This is a dupe or whichever word you want to use, for a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. You know, you can buy these anywhere from 5 to $10. You can buy a pack of them and switch the section and the finials and the caps. And one would have thought that was small enough, but this is actually a Jinhao 82 Mini. I'm not going to lie, I chose the colors on this because they reminded me of Hermes. When I bought this pen, it actually had the green finial on top and I swapped it out so that this would be all in kind of the green family, and this would all be in the warmer tones. These are solid, reliable. This one doesn't write the greatest, and I don't know if that's the ink I have in there. This little plated brass bronze pen I got on Timu probably about a year ago when I was really getting into collecting. This unscrews. screws back on like this, and then you have a, a decent sized pen. This pen is, you know, has this little dot as a clip. Um, it's a decent writer. I use it with a cartridge. It is a little prone to drying. Now, if any of you recognize this pen, and this is a dupe of another pen, please drop it in the comments. I love the design, I love the style. I haven't been able to find it, but I always like to know what the original pen is if it's a dupe, because then I like to support the original creator when and if possible. Solid, that is solid metal. Nothing is happening to that in your bag. This was a Timu purchase just because I liked the, the resin in it. There's some good chatoyance. I thought the color was great. The size is great. Yeah, it sort of posts, which I like, and this writes very well. This is surprisingly uh, nice materials for a $9 pen, and I believe the brand is Muse Wenju. Okay, the next one, this is a Hongdian M1, and I just kind of wanted to show you the Hongdian M2s come in the same packaging, which is a, like a little metal pen box, which is another layer of protection in your bag. Uh, it also makes, you know, if you're giving someone a gift, you know, that looks really nice there. So this is the Hongdian M1. has a little smiley face here. Again, a spring-loaded clip. And this is more of a submarine or 
cigar shape, I think. Um, the threads are pretty smooth. That That is not sharp at all, and I feel like on an aluminum pen that really could be a problem. Um, it's a pretty, pretty nib. This is a fine nib. Looks like they were founded in 1997. This would be great to keep in a bag. I'll be right back with my last travel option, and then we'll show you how some of these write. So some quick writing samples of these pens. I'm gonna start with the Caveco Sport in the color Fox. Move this paper a little. That's a solid writer. It's a smooth nib. You know, inclusion of clip and converter aside, Coveco makes a, a nice pen. I, I have been wanting to try the Coveco Lilliput. Um, I just haven't gotten around to purchasing one. And we're not doing these in any specific order. This is the Hongdian M2. How do you spell that? So that is a fairly wet writer. This is a fine, and the Caveco Sport is a fine. So you can see, again, variation in and could you use this just like this? Yes, I suppose you could. This ink is Monteverde Olivine. I love it. I love green ink. I love green, but surprisingly, I don't have uh, too many green pens. And I don't know why. Uh, okay, this is the Jin Hao 82. That's unposted. This is posted. It's definitely more comfortable posted. Again, the Jin Hao 82 Mini. It's a nice bicolor nib. This is a fine nib. Yeah, this one gives me trouble. You know, this one has given me consistent enough trouble that I'm going to rule this one out. This is the Muse Wenju. It does post, mostly. Now, a lot of these I don't have inked yet, so I'm just gonna do a dip test. I haven't inked this one because, like I said, I'm a sentimental old man. This is the So, again, this one I wouldn't take with me because it's sentimental, but it was also a little bit of a scratchy writing experience there. Mont Blanc Classic. Okay. 
So this Mont Blanc Classique is a medium nib, and I do intend on sending this to Kirk Spear to have it ground down, I think, to a fine italic. Phenomenal writer, it's a gold nib. You know, if you're traveling and it includes business, this would not be a pen that would be out of place in a, in a business meeting, of course. Okay. Again, if anyone knows if this is an original design or if it's a dupe, That's a nice writer as well. Sorry that I can only call it a random Timu pen. I went back to my order. It doesn't have a model number. I think it's just designed as brass folding compact pen, something, something like that. Um, the ink that I'm using for the dip test here is Lavenger True Teal. Then I don't know if I can dip, I have never dip tested a pen like this. So let me see if my son has his inked up. I'll be right back. My son said his Jin Hao Shark was also almost out of ink. He said, I may be able to get two words out of it. Folks, when I tell you that <laughs> this is a surprisingly nice writer for $2, I'm not exaggerating. Again, don't be afraid to let your kids try fountain pens. So of all of those, who are my favorites? Let's see. Who made the final cut? We have the Jin Hao Shark, the Hong Dian M2, the Kaveco Sport, and the Muse Wenju. I think any four of these make an excellent, compact, portable, travel, keep in your bag pen. The one that will probably leave the house the most for me is the Hongdian M2. I like a wetter writer. I like that this is aluminum. really great. I am surprised. I, I think the quality is there. It's a great writer and it's what I will be using when I travel moving forward. Well that's it for today folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you are inspired to take your pens or a pen with you when you travel. And of course, my favorite, write a letter, send a postcard, let someone know you care. I care that you show up each Sunday to watch these videos. Much appreciated. Talk to you soon. Bye. Uh, uh, I cannot speak.